One of the most notable and recent additions to JavaScript is the optional chaining operator, written with a question mark followed by a period. It was introduced in ES2020. It provides an easy mechanism to read the value of properties that may be located deep within a chain of nested or connected objects. For example, let's say I'm a developer dealing with user data, where each user may have an address, but not everybody has an address. And then some people even include geodata with a latitude and longitude set of coordinates. Without optional chaining, the safe way of accessing the latitude out of here would look something like this user address and and user.address.geo and and user.address.geo.lat. If at any point one of these returns undefined, meaning it doesn't exist, then the whole thing is just done and we end up with undefined. In this case, it does exist, lat is 47.8095. But let's say that there's no geo property at all. When I run this, we get undefined. But this is clunky and this is only nested a couple layers deep. This is where the optional chaining operator comes in. With optional chaining, I can rewrite this line to this right here. User question mark dot address, question mark dot geo, question mark dot lat. If at any point one of these properties returns null or undefined, the entire expression returns undefined. So I would get undefined here for lat, but if geo does exist and the lat property exists on it, we get 47.8095. It's common to combine optional chaining with the nullish coalescing operator. I just released a video on that last week. If the left side returns null or undefined, the right side will be used. And in this case, lat will be zero. We can also use the optional chaining operator to check if a given property exists before calling it as a function. This video player object hopefully has a play method. If it does, we'll execute it. If not, we'll end up with undefined. JavaScript's optional chaining operator is just a simple improvement to the syntax that can take something long and ugly like this and turn it into something pretty clean and readable. Thanks for watching. Check out my brand new website, completely redesigned with a bunch of free tips, videos, articles, and a very fancy, completely free course on mastering CSS Grid. All right, bye everyone. Thanks for watching.